Bear with me. Um, we need electricity, we need plumbing. And what percent of women do these jobs? I can't really think of one job where women dominate in that we need. What up guys? Welcome to the Just Pearly Things YouTube channel. Today, I am gonna be giving a special whiteboard presentation called Ladies, You Are Not As Special As You. Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. This woman has been uh, taking the world by storm. Anti-feminist YouTuber Hannah Pearl Davis dubbed the female Andrew Tate. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a read. An anti-feminist YouTuber who believes women shouldn't have the right to vote and divorce should be illegal as it dubbed the female Andrew Tate. Hannah Pearl Davis, 26, goes by Pearl, has amassed more than 1.5 million followers for her converge conservative views, uh, with clips of her inflammatory remarks often going viral on Twitter and TikTok in recent months. Her popularity online increased following the arrest of Tate in Romania on sex trafficking charges in December. Tate, 26, who become one of the most Famous influencers for sharing his controversial views online has been a guest on her channel shortly before he was taken into custody. Since then, her YouTube following has increased from 960,000 subscribers to 1.54 million, according to Social Blade. Davis had also had um, 930,000 followers on TikTok prior to to being banned in August last year for telling the truth about feminism. Why do all of these big companies censor one side but they don't censor the other, she said in a video at the time. Men have issues. I'm not saying they don't, but it's not fair. Not a fair conversation if only one side get to speak. We heard about men's issues for the last 20 years, but women don't listen to men. Feminists don't want to have a the conversation because it makes them look bad. Anything that puts women in a bad light, taken down and it's censored. Dave is originally from Chicago, Illinois, where she grew up with nine siblings and her parents, software engineer entrepreneurs, Dan and Jennifer Davis, according to The Insider. Iconically, um, her mother was once on the board of directors for UN Women USA, a charity that supports the gender equality program of the United States. She now lives in London, where she gained uh, some initial success filming um, street interviews and now hosts a YouTube talk show called The Pregame, as well as creating viral video content such as Tunning Cheek Whiteboard Presentation. She joined YouTube in 2020, but her popularity only took off in May 2022 when she, her um, increasingly edgy content saw her subscriber count skyrocket from 25,000 to more than a half a million in six months. So this is um, the tweet from Pearl um, Davis. Um, the same women that I say I hate women who call me autistic, attack my looks, and flat out lie about what I talk about. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Michaela um, Peterson, the daughter of Jordan Peterson, um, retweeted, I said that you hate women because almost everything you tweet is hateful towards women. It's not factual, it doesn't help anyone, and it's despiteful and vitriolic. Encouraging women to have kids younger and not to sleep around is beneficial. Insulting women is not. You do the latter. Okay, that's pretty much what the online spat will be be going on for many months ahead. Um, in total, her YouTube videos have um, generated more than 781 million views, while on Twitter videos with the hashtag Just Pearly Things have been viewed more than 300 million times. She told Insider earlier this year she was influenced by watching videos of popular right-wing figures like the Day Wire founder Ben Shapiro and economist Thomas um, Sowell um, during college. Davis has um, since teamed up with manager Kobe DeVito, a former colleague of Shapiro at the Daily Wire. While she denies exaggerating her opinions for clicks, Davis clearly enjoys generating controversy. A lot of people will think I'm insane. 
because I don't think people should, women should vote, she said in a Twitter video this week, which has been viewed 860,000 times. If anything, this is probably my most extreme opinion. She went on to explain that she came to this conclusion because she wanted to know why men were so angry about women. When I started uh, researching this stuff, um, it was pretty easy to figure out why. 90% um, of women um, have been on birth control. One out of three women had an abortion. One out of three women had an STD. The average body count is over five. 95% um, of women are not virgin on the wedding day. So I understand these comments, she said. Davis then claimed that the court's legal system or the society is basically pandering and simping for women, citing examples such as payments for single mums. Okay. If you pay um, women to be terrible, then you're going to be have more terrible women, she said. The issue is that the politicians, the only way they can get elected, the women vote for them. The reason... And we can't see a change in these laws because um, they won't be elected. Um, does every person deserve a right to vote? Basically, um, essentially, we have a society where men are just paying for women's bad behaviours or decisions. Um, in an another video this week viewed 2.6 million times, Davis suggests outside reproduction, society would function fine without women. If women stop working tomorrow, I would think we will have an increase in efficiency, not a decrease, she said. The problem is we all have these women that think they're doing more than they are because they're hot and they make more money off of being hot and they are subsidized by the government, okay? In our other viral clips on TikTok, Davis um, argues a woman... A woman um, does not deserve a guy that makes um, six figures if you are a beast. Okay, that's bad. That's a woman's fault for if her partner's cheat and that men um, should be allowed to hit women back. Okay, that's really bad. A lot of you guys are shitey wives, okay, she said in one video. You don't cook for your man. You belittle him. You nag him or him on all the time you don't treat him like a man <laughs> oh goodness uh, clips of Davis appearing on other podcasts have also circulated widely including the debate with YouTuber Ethan Klein over salary and divorce rate I think we should ban divorce she said I just think that if you want to leave you shouldn't get married you know because marriage was supposed to be for the better or worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer. And it's not supposed to be uh, when I feel like leaving. The majority of divorces is now just when the girl feels like leaving. Davis, however, insists she's not a misogynist. Misogynist, misogyny um, is the hatred of women, she told Insider. I don't hate women for some reason, acknowledging the basic truth like men and women a different is labeled as misogyny nowadays. Anyway, folks, this is going to be a bit of a controversial um, episode of, from what I'm, I'm reading in this article. And yeah, she does sound like the female version of Andrew Tate. What are your thoughts um, about this woman? Let your thoughts know in the comments section. Have a good one.